What's going on today, guys? This is Gabriel Quinn of the ML Towers, and today we have a game called Finger Bones. This is an indie game on Steam. Uh, it's completely free, and it it's a psychological horror. Um, here, it, I'll just read this to you here. A psychological horror game made by David S S S no, yeah, whatever. However you say that, Szymanski, I'm guessing. Um, Fingerbones is intended to be completed in a single sitting, and there is no save function. It is suggested that you set aside about a half an hour to complete it. To exit, visit the door you started at. Use a wads, wast. I don't know why he did. It says W A, A D S. It should be W A S D. Um. To move around and the left mouse button to interact with the environment. Press it. escape to toggle the screen. P press I to invert the mouse. Okay. Okay. So this is pretty cool. What is this? Whoa. Okay. Not much I can interact with yet. There's a table over here. It's a knife. Can I pick up this knife? I might need it. Ooh, what is this? A note? Okay. It's my weekend to get Katie, but I'm really not in the mood. I distracted her with the TV and came here to read. I couldn't interest myself in reading, so I tried to write. I couldn't write anything more than you the usual handful of disconnected thoughts and theories. Medication didn't help, and divorce certainly didn't help, because I'm not depressed, I'm enlightened. This is the result of two decades of scientific education and philosophical pondering. This is the price of knowledge. Excuse me. Um, I, I, I don't, uh, I, don't, I really wouldn't want, I don't think I should, uh, pursue scientific education and phys phys philosophical pondering if that's what's gonna happen to me I confuse depression for enlightenment well, what's that keyboard huh. I can't interact with it weird it appears to be a page from manuscript the script Pop morality is too reliant on emotions, and not reliant enough on rational thought. If morality must be determined, and I maintain that it is farce, it should not be determined by feeling. Feeling is nebulous, subject, subjective and changeable. Rather, it should be determined by thinking. The actions of a natural creature are natural and thus moral, unless a concrete scientific reason can be given to prove them as immortal. Huh. So this dude's kind of insane. From what I've seen. Ooh, is that a nice flashlight? Woo. Alright. What is this? Hmm. Odd. I don't know why I'd use my daughter's name as a door lock code in my survival bunker, but whatever keeps her happy, I suppose. She's like her mother. A delicate, fragile version of her mother. Damn her. Okay. I don't know why it'd be damn her on that. What is this? It's a button. Uh, it's a generator, I'm guessing. Whoa. I see you, red glint. Okay, so this is coming from the keyboard. I must have powered it. Huh. Uh, what was the daughter's name again? Because he said he was using the daughter's name. It on the first note I read. 
Um, Katie. I heard that. Okay. So what did that do? Oh wait, there's a second door over here. This goes to the survival bunker, I'm guessing? Okay, yep, I don't like that at all. Can I just go, like, back up in there? No, that probably won't be the best option. It's finally happened. The whole world, the whole world is a chaos of thunder and screams. And when the ashes settle, we will be wild animals again. I'm ecstatic beyond words. I haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days. And she's probably dead for all I know or care. But Katie was here when I started. And I have no idea what to do with her. Most of the town is dead. Katie, Katie and I only survived because we ran to the bunker. Perhaps this is what I've needed. Freedom from all the international and irrational rules and inane social values. Just pure, beautiful survival. Okay then! That's not creepy at all. God damn. This dude's got some issues. Like some serious issues. So is this the bunker? What's this? Like safety hatch? And what about this? Oh well. <clears throat> I boxed up everything that isn't practical and useful. I burned all the books that weren't for scientific education. I'd like to store the boxes in the cellar, but I can't get them down the ladder by myself. I just pile them up near the hatch. Blood would probably ruin them anyway. What blood? He said pure, beautiful survival. And Katie was there with him when it happened. The tool room has been in her name for years now, and I can't bring myself to change it. I'm guessing that's the tool room, and he, because I'm guessing that that's like a storage cellar, because he was trying to get the boxes full of the books down there, and he can't do it. So this must be the tool room, and he said it's been in her name for years now. Does he mean like the password? I'll go back up to that keyboard and see. See, when I hear that sound, I know that, okay, you're good. Try pressing E. So far, this is a fairly interesting game. Okay. change the storage room code for something I can easily remember. N and Y. The rest of the word is missing. N and Y. Lenny? I don't like that ambience. I really don't. So, either this is the storage room, or that over there is the storage room. Maybe there's a note around here somewhere where there are things I've wanted to do for years. Desires I've kept locked in the back of my consciousness. It's, barely, it's been nearly a year since I've seen a woman, and now I realize there's no practical reason to keep those desires locked up anymore. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. 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 That ambience. Okay. Okay. There's, there's a 
chance there's something back there. I see you. She remembered Father's Day and drew me a picture. I don't understand her. She's just like her mother. She wants to waste time drawing pictures. And we're barely able enough to find enough food to survive. I turn to crayons and to candles. We need more candles in case the generator goes out again. And it helps bring up break up the monotony. I yearn for the excitement from those first weeks. Okay. He turned her crayons into candles. You don't do that. You don't this this guy just sounds like a pretty bad dad. He is not a good father. I thought that was a button for a minute. Is there something I missed over here? I know that there was this tour room has been renamed from the N N Y was it? Jenny. Here. Um it, it'd be only logical that the start of the word would be N N Y, so I'ma just try different combinations of letters with it. Like N N Y Q, N N Y W. You know, that sort of thing. Alright. Take a crack at this. That was a sound that goes with it. Stop that mouse. Whoa. No. N N Y L. What does that stand for? Where on earth where we have gotten that? Maybe it was just... I don't know, there's gotta be a code somewhere. That says that. Let's open now. I am a bag of DNA, and I exist to make more of myself. I married and produced a daughter because my genes demand reproduction. I wrote books and created because creativity served a survival advantage to my ancient ape ancestors. I built this place to crush you, Jen. Spent hours thinking up silly little artificial laws to live by because my forefathers built cities and societies to allow time and peace to reproduce and to protect their genes, dreams, loves, opinions, desires, beauty, innocence, figments of our collective primordial imagination, Feel fleeting, fleeting electrical signals that fire our, across our synapses. What? Huh? Hello? Are in the boxes? I don't know. Okay. Ooh, there's a button there. Let me finish this first. Okay. Fleeing electrical system systems signals that fire across our synapses for a 
pointless moment in time. They used to serve purpose, and now they're in needless confusion. And here I am, the last man on earth for all I know, ready to be freed from them. Dang. That shit's deep. Now, there's a button here. Now, what did that do? Oh, maybe it, maybe it was like that indent on the wall up top. Yep, looks like it. Could be the last note. What is that? What the fuck is that? The cellar is freedom. So the cellar is how I get out of there? <gasps> no, wait, the code. The code for it. I get it. Alright. Go to the cellar. Guys, this game. Oh, wait. There's only enough food for one, so she's going to die anyway, and I'm free now. Freedom! It took the end of all humanity for me to find freedom. Another note. Oh! So that's what he meant by the blood it seems to have been torn from a diary she finally died last night I don't know whether from starvation dehydration or blood loss blood loss I threw her body into the woods her fingers my anti-religious artifacts my tents my testaments to, mor to moral and intellectual freedom are locked in the safe upstairs Oh, that's what they were. Those were fingers. <laughs> those... Those were her finger bones. Good job, game. Good job. I am content in the knowledge that I haven't done anything wrong. You literally just murdered your own daughter. father didn't know why he'd come back after all these years starving and tired he just wanted to see the cellar one last time with one last victor a flicker the flashlight died and he was left in pitch dark he sat down on the cold floor and closed his eyes no wait wait i didn't read the rest of it his flashlight died and so did he, I'm guessing. That that's what I'm that's what I'm gonna con conclude from that. Alright. So that everybody was finger bones. So if you like that, be sure you go ahead and hit that like button and the sus subscribe button if you want more and comment what you want me to play next. And with that I'll see all you guys in the next video. Goodbye.